everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog of this week. Um, In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Story Siren, where we show what we got this week. Um, this is actually um, the leftover In My Mailbox from last week, because I had about 20 books in last week. And it was too much to talk about in one vlog, so I sp split it in two. Um, so this is actually what I got in last week. Um, so let's get started. First up, I got this beautiful letter-bound classic, um, The Complete Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, and I wanted to have this one because I read Nevermore and I was really, really interested in um, Edgar Allan Poe in that book. Um, and this one was um, on sale for, I believe it was £13, which is about 15 or 16 euros now, so that's really cheap for this beautiful, beautiful letter bound book. Um, looks like this, and then the spine and the back, and this is silver. Um, and it opens up like this, and then like that, and it holds not all the works, but a lot of it. It holds um, poems and fiction. This is the little index of poems. And there's not lo a lot of white on the pages, but I really look forward to reading some of his work because I haven't read any of it. And when I saw this for sale, these books are beautiful. I also have the Iliad edition and the Alice in Wonderland edition. And these are beautiful books. They are great quality, quality, and they are just sturdy and beautiful books. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Um, then I got a couple of adult titles. I got uh, Ecstasy Unveiled by um, Larissa Ion, and this is book four in the Demonica series. I read book one. I got book two in. No, I got book, book 3 in, and last week I got book 4 in, and book f 2 and 5 are still missing in the post. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, I really like this series, even though I have only read one book. But I got a bookmark with it. This is the How to Google uh, one. With, um, this is how to do the weather Googles and stuff. Um, but I'm really looking forward to reading the rest of the series and my bookmark keeps flipping and falling out of the book. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope that I will be getting in book two next week, which is uh, Desire Unchained. Um, but I w really want to continue the series, so it's really, really annoying that my um, postal service here decides to give me all the books except book two so I can continue. But then I got two books in in the um, Lords of the Underworld series by Gina, Gina Showalter. I got The Darkest Whisper, which is book four, and I got The Darkest Passion, which is book five. And I was stupid enough to forgot um, to forget to order um, The Darkest Pleasure, which is book three. So now I have book one, two, four, and five, and I do not have book three. So to continue the series, I need to order book. But I really like this series, uh, even though some parts are really unbelievable. They are they make great reads for when the weather is nice in your in your backyard and just reading. Um, then I got um, the Maze Runner by James Dashner. Um, I thought uh, you have the the green cover with the maze on the back, right? And then there are new new covers by Chicken House, uh, the UK covers, and I thought. Oh, oh, they they look great. They were blue and green and yellow behind the letters. And so I ordered it and it looks like this. <laughs> this does not look like the image on Amazon. It looks old. And I don't know my it was 3 or 4 pounds, but still I do not like it. When I order a book because I see it on the image. I want it to look like it. Vibrant colors like on the image but oh well I'm sure it's good anyway. Um, chapters look like this. 
But yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this series because I've heard great things about it. Um, Scorch Trials is out, I think. Um, I believe there were like three books in the series, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, this is about a guy who finds, finds himself in some kind of maze and the, the guys that were there uh, never figured out how to get out of the maze and he just he gets there and he goes in or something um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this one it's a dystopian as well so should be good then I got um, Ultraviolet by RJ Anderson and this book is incredibly shiny you see so pretty Um, yeah, I only got this one because it was two or three pounds on Amazon, and I thought, what the heck, I just go I'm just going to order it, because um, with Amazon, if you order for 25 pounds or over, I get free shipping because I live outside the UK. And I only order when I get free shipping and I saw this one and I threw in and I had 25 pounds. I don't know too much about this book. Um, it's about um, a girl who is in a mental institute and uh, because she murdered the most popular girl in school. Um, but there's no body and her body just disintegrated or something. Um, I'm not entirely sure but... I'm really looking forward to reading this one and it's really really shiny and I don't think the image on the interwebs does it justice and it is the back. So yeah and then last but not least I got Blood Red Road by Moira Young. I'm not sure how to pronounce her first name but I'm sure you know the book. I got the hardcover edition because it is the first in the series and I'm sure I, I want to read the rest of it. This is about a girl um, who lives in some desert land. It's a dystopian as well. And um, she's fine as long as she's with her brother, but then her brother disappears and she has to find him. And she meets a guy like named Jack and some girls um, called the Free Hawks or the Free something. Um, yeah, the Free Hawks. And they are going to look for her brother and then she discovers that she's a fierce warrior and a great survivor. So it sounds really really good. I believe this is a debut but I'm not sure. I will put a little annotation up there if I, it's not. And the book underneath is black and then it looks like this. And I'm so excited for this book. You can't even imagine how excited I am. I heard so many great things about it. I saw the synopsis and I knew I had to have it. So when um, Book Depository took well over two weeks to deliver this book to my door I was really disappointed but I really really want to read it so I'm sure that I will read it in July and I got a little bookmark with it this is a um, multiplication table <laughs> with little rabbits and carrots which is cute um, and you never can have too many bookmarks so yeah, I got Blood Red Road, yes! So, yeah, that's what I got in my mailbox this week. Um, it, like I said, it was left over from last week. Um, but I'm really, really happy with them, nonetheless. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments what you got in your mailbox this week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!